Hi, this is Becky Oberg from Recovering from Mental Illness, and today I'm going to talk about Step 4 of Alcoholics Anonymous and Borderline Personality Disorder. One of the 12 steps is Step 4, made a fearless and searching moral inventory of ourselves. And for someone with borderline personality disorder, that can be a daunting proposition. So, how do you go about a fourth step? Step one is to listen to your sponsor. Chances are your sponsor knows you pretty well. And if they don't, they should. Because this is a person you're going to be opening up to. This is going to be your guide to sobriety. So listen to your sponsor. Especially listen to your sponsor's story. No matter what you've done, your sponsor has probably done it as well and maybe even worse. The worst case I ever heard of was here in Indianapolis, actually, in which a uh, man who had drugs on his person broke into the Indiana Medical History Museum, stole the brains that were on display, and sold them on eBay. So no matter what you've done, you haven't sold human organs on eBay. So don't be so hard on yourself. Step two is to keep reminding yourself you're not a bad person. You're a person with a sickness who has made some bad decisions. We all have. So don't beat yourself up over what you've done. Look for the good that you've done. But don't let either one define who you are. You're a new person now. And build yourself. Build your own identity, free from drugs and alcohol. And that leads to the third step of a fourth step. And that is decide you want sobriety at any cost. What are you willing to do to stay sober? If you want what people in a 12-step group have and are willing to go to any length to get it, congratulations. You're ready to take certain steps including step four. That's one of the harder steps to take, but you can do it. And with that, I'm signing off.